this car, which is the subject of our discussion here, is a 1960 356B Super 90 GT, of which they made an entire run of 14. That's the car on the cover of the Cole Scroggum book. And, and the only one special paint. Paint a sample back in the day. It's PTS um, in this wonderful shade of yellow. And it is... I remember getting this book and thinking, wow, that is the Bible mm -hmm. for these cars. And always enamored with the yellow car. I had the opportunity to... Uh, get it out of Colorado a handful of years ago, and it went to England. And it lived in England with a wonderful caretaker, um, and it was reimported back to the United States. And it's here, part of this BAT auction. And again, a car that it's just got ironclad bulletproof history. Um, it is rarer than rare. It is so much fun to drive, and. You know, diving into the history, I mean, in this picture here is uh, Weldon Scroggum, I believe, at Watkins Glen, um, campaigning the car, and Cole, his son, wrote the book. Um, when you get into the history of these cars, you want something that, you know, wasn't rotted into the ground, it wasn't, you know, cut in half at some point, because these were meant as, like, hill climb race cars. And this car's got a little bit of, a little bit of early fun hill climb history i mean yeah, wish, wish we had a better copy of this that's the car catching air at some event it's written about in the history yeah it's in pennsylvania in pennsylvania they, t they talk about this bump in the road in pennsylvania and i guess it was uh the springtown course at the bump and um yeah it's it's cooler than cool and we've got a, a log book here um with weldon's name in it yeah i mean it is this was issued by Ralph Whaley, 1988. Uh, Summit Point, Watkins Glen, Lime Rock. Oh, that's cool. That says the Serengeti Vintage Cup, if I read that right. West Palm Beach. Yeah. I mean, this car, had, had, it did the circuit, and these guys had some fun with it. I believe cool. prior to its full restoration, it was silver at that time. So people may remember the car as silver. Um but this was, Cam, delivered new. Uh, to Ben Pond, who's one of my favorite guys, characters in the Porsche world, famous distributor and dealer in the Netherlands. Most people know of his cars because they were painted orange, his Abarth Carrera and his 904 that were pretty famous in Porsche Motorsports history. Uh, this car being the only one painted canary yellow, though, is quite striking. And of course, the Super 9 GT, is the alternative to a Carrera, you know, to a 4 cam and Porsche producing these cars to be a more economic way to go racing with similar horsepower to a Carrera, but with all the tidbits, Motorsports GT products, uh, the aluminum doors, plexiglass windows, roll cage, the GT seats, um, no sound insulation. And so it's kind of this wonderful, and in today's world, it's this usable uh, race car. It's a, it's a car that you could drive every day if you wanted because um, it's all the practicality of a 356, but a proper motorsports thing. Yeah, I go back to thinking these were, you know, the, sort of the customer hot rods of the period. Yeah. Um, it's sort of, if you don't know, it looks like a normal 356B mm -hmm. uh, until you take a good long look at it, and it is strikingly different. Yeah. Uh, and it is so much fun to drive. And with a Super 90 motor, what more could you want in a car from this period? So, and as you and I both know, these models, because they only made 14, and we're well stooped in the GTs, the 57. The first GT delivered to North America, the silver car that we sold just recently. Uh, the GTs are so special because it's really beyond the 550 Spider program. The GT program is really what kicked off international racing for customer base uh, for Porsche. So, that's, I'm, I'm excited to see this nuanced. Uh, car, this model, significant piece, uh, go on BAT. Yeah, I think it'll be good for the audience. I don't, I'm 100% sure a Super 90 GT has never been sold on BAT. Um, so we get to be, <laughs> we get that award. Yeah, trailbla <laughs> trailblazing away. Uh, 
And uh, I hope this ends up in somebody's garage in their collection. Or if it's your first 356 to buy, why not go towards the top of the food chain? Yeah. Good luck with the bidding. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.